Okay. Da-da-da-da-da-who. <laughs> Let's go. Ow, wow, yeah. listen right now. Everybody knows the man that says pow. Start the show, gonna talk some toys. Okay. This is for the grown up girls and boys making noise. Let's start the show. Okay. Talking Marvel Legends and the money that we blow. Honestly, look, there ain't no stopping me. Turtles and Joe's too, let's do this properly. Need to buy more toys, don't tell my bank. Wasn't me promise, it was Hellfire Hank. Whole who crueler, they made me do it. If it lands in my door, then I best review it. Screw it. I don't usually boast, but I got rich M, he's here to host Raise a toast and raise some dots This isn't your average show with the locks Pow and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews as always my name is Dan. Do you make sure you are following me on Instagram? And it's Dan. Who is my hair? My hair is my hair all right, Alexi? What are you saying? What are you saying? Should I just put the hat on? My hair's got like multiple quiffs. It's never. That's why I wear hats. All right. How are we doing here on a Thursday night to recap the week that was in Marvel Legends and whatever else we want to talk about? You know the score by now. This is episode one hundred and eighty-five. We are literally about to hit the five-year anniversary of doing this show, like pretty consistently. So that's insane. So hopefully you understand the format by now and if you do you then you know i cannot do it on my own let here he is he's the co-host with the mostest he's just sorting out his hair it's of course rich m just played once how are you doing rich i got i got the player john down is it looking <laughs> is it nice nice and shiny is it yeah, good yeah, is it just, good I can yeah sort my hair out in the reflection of yours it's very, <laughs> we got sorted <laughs> very nice good to hell i'm doing good you all right <laughs> yeah all good all good all good as i said just busy busy as always the weeks come by quick at the minute uh literally just i uh, I look forward to the weekends far too much at the minute. Like, just, do you know, like, I just want to get the week over so I can just do nothing sometimes. So, and, and this weekend is a good weekend. Style. Yeah, I, I genuinely am looking forward to this weekend. Toy Fair in the UK, the biggest Toy Fair in the country. Uh, I was actually bidding on eBay earlier on a couple of uh, Spider Man retro cars. They had Doc Ock. Doc Ock was on there, and I need that one. Like, uh, I'm talking the classic Toy Biz ones, people, the old school ones. And I, but I didn't bite. I didn't like go get into a bidding war because I'm like, no, I've got I've got Toy Fair on Sunday. Maybe I'll have some luck. So I just st stepped back and got outbidded on everything and just watched it all go by. So if we don't find Doc Ock now on Sunday, I'll be well annoyed that it went for a price I would have paid. Everyone in Toy Fair put the price of Doc Ock up now, being like, oh, all that that idiot off YouTube. Let's put up to fifty pound. Go on. Like, look, yeah, I'm a great haggler, right? I just I'll just give them the look and go. You know, in the legends. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying anything I want because I'll be like, <laughs> I even propel Rich out. Like, yeah, here you go. They're going to, Rich, this is a fiver. Rich, like, here's a tenner, keep the change. <laughs> just terrible haggler. Uh, right, how are we doing, everybody? Uh, of course, there is some Marvel Legend news to talk about via the title of this stream. It is, of course, Iron Man heavy, as during WonderCon last week, we were all speculating what they might reveal. Me and Rich said maybe two Indeed. or three, if, if that. And we thought they may be associated with the Deadpool legacy line because there was only a two of them. But no, they surprised us as they revealed a whole wave of Marvel Legends and it was the retro Iron Man wave that was heavily rumoured. Shout out Rectangular. Um, so we've knew, well, we sort of had a good inkling that this was coming. But of course, like always, we're never quite sure about the character selection. So me and Rich were actually did a stream all about... I, I don't think anyone would have guessed this character selection for an Iron Man no. wave. Let's say that. No, that is that is definitely <laughs> a, a point of conversation today for sure. But uh, I was just saying to Rich before we went live, we did a whole stream on the Iron Man retro cards. Uh, and it was episode 167, I believe, if anyone's paying attention at home. 167, me and Rich sort of did our own sort of top 12 uh characters we think that would look good on this retro card and i'm just looking at our list now rich i'm just going through the list how many did we get hang on uh, uh one i think one. we got one yeah i think we one. got one and and we called him backlash <laughs> they've named him properly now as well um so yeah i think we got one out of 12 which isn't good going but that's not on us because we had great selections and to be fair, there's some good, there's some good things and bad things about this wave. We shall discuss all, of course. But uh, as always, there is a poll right now in the chat. That is the wave we are talking about. The chat poll uh, simply asks: New Marvel Legends Iron Man wave. Uh, love it all in 
is the first option so far at 34%. Nice will pick and choose at 54%. Uh, 10% not a fan, skip. Uh, there's always people that just write skip, pass. There's always those type of guys. So I made sure you had an option there. Uh, and then 2%, which has probably only got one vote so far, says don't care for retro cards. And that's that's fair game. Each to their own. Each to their own. But uh, please do get your vote in in the chat and we, come, we shall come back and have a look at that. But uh, yes, as we were alluding to, that is your wave of six Iron Man cards. And me and Rich on our list, on our fantasy list, had one had one of these um so was yeah. it was it she hulk dad was it was no. it she hulk was it was it she hulk no. and an iron man with no it was did not. anyone have she hulk and an iron man with anyone 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 out there no anyone? Yeah. I've, I, even ryan ting when he announced tumbleweed tumbleweed yeah. going past <laughs> even ryan ting when he announced she hulk even sort of set it up by going we like to try and fudge in characters where we can so they know there's no well so fudge fudge that in they did look at that look at that Dan dangling up the bottom of the package and I've never seen such hardy yeah. work in my life. She is pretty bent in there. Um okay, let's say hello to the chat. And then I'll go back and do some housekeeping, all right? Uh so who we got? We had people in nice and early. Mark Tat Tat just chatting to himself at the start there. Just having a conversation with Mark. Mark, how you doing, Mark? I'm a good Mark. Did you see the new Legends wave, Mark? Yeah, it was great, Mark. What did you think, Mark? Uh, he's excited for this wave, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Uh, yes, I don't know who Mark is talking to there, but he's having a full-on conversation. Uh, shout out, Mark Tak Tak, as always. Jamie Gitchard with the pals. Uh, California Red Devil said She-Hulk and Gold and Mark 1 armor are topped for me from this wave. Pixels and Plastic says it's Thursday peeps. You know what that means. Toy talk with the lads. Absolutely. Go and check out Pixels and Plastic. Uh, if you want to see Kurt K and The Undertaker, go one-on-one. -on -one. I will not spoil anything, but uh, there was a, a referee and there may have been an upset. But again, anyway, go and watch it for yourself. Uh, Little Leaf Creation says, evening all. Evening, P. Evening. I think we'll see Pete this weekend, to be fair. Uh, he might pay a visit to my house, actually. Uh, we've got uh, Paul McCarthy. We'll see him as well this weekend. Evening all, who crew. Um, hope all is good. Looking forward to tonight's show. Jay's there. Says, evening all. We'll see Jay as well. We're going to see everybody first uh, Sunday. Everybody. Uh, Gary, are we going to see you? Probably not. I don't think Gary's in the UK, but shout out Gary all the same. He says, hello, folks. Legion X says, hey oh. Uh, Hugo says, let's go. Evening chat. Can't wait for the stream. And he just threw in a Brandon emoji because why not? Why not? Brandon's not here anymore, but it's fine. The Brandon emoji lives on. Uh, Mikey Moonboots with the saxophones. That means the intro was played. He's not, he's not dead for anyone joining the right. He's just not on the stream anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 the emoji's there <laughs> in memoriam for Brandon uh, for Hero <laughs> Collections. There he is. There he is. Shout out Hero Collections as always. <laughs> he does watch the replay, but he's like a month behind. So eventually he replies to a joke that me and Rich said about a month later when me and Rich <laughs> has no idea what the context is because we forgot what we said. Um, so shout out Brandon in the future or the present. Hey, when you're hey. um, Lady Mac says, hey, who crew? We should see Lady Mac this weekend as well. Uh, Gary says, when it comes to the poll, I'll pick and choose. I'll skip the actual Iron Man figures. Skips the Iron Man figures in an Iron Man wave. Uh, Cloud Fox Wells. And like Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cute Court says, good to see that revisiting some old Marvel uh, Universe series looks. Anyone want the double bout half shirt rogue look? Is that the outback look? The double bout? No, that isn't, is it? Half shirt. And I think half shirt. I think it's, it's um, the, like, the, like, just before outback. They're like, they did it in Green. the 3.75 inch. Yeah, black, with black. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the biggest dog ever. Says yes, please on that rogue. So he's a he's a fan of that idea. Cute, cool. Uh, Craig, Clifford, Clifford, the big red dog. He's the biggest dog ever, isn't he? Not anymore because the biggest dog ever. The new shot. biggest dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> He doesn't say his name's Clifford, and I don't know if he's red, but the, the biggest dog is in the chat. Uh, Craig's dot nostalgic dot collection. Don't forget the dots, all right? I'm just I'm making that Craig's catchphrase. Even though he doesn't want it, I am I'm pushing that catchphrase on him. He's gonna get a t-shirt with don't forget the dots on it and everything. Don't worry, it's his gimmick. <laughs> He'll lean into it, it's fine. Uh your boys got toys. Uh Mark Rose, uh Fortress Maximus, uh the retweeting king, Jason Lopez. Topless Groob is back. Hello, everybody. Hello, Topless Groob. Hey. Uh he will he reappears when someone gets their top off. So we won't see him again for a while now. Um who else we got? Encountered culture. Uh shine, uh, shine it nice and bright. Um, oh, he's on about the uh, the pledge. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Eric's in there as well. Our Greek friend says, Dan and Rich, hey guys, I'm very happy about the Marvel Legends uh, retro Iron Man figures. The She-Hulk looks amazing. I like the classic 90s She-Hulk. But why didn't we get Mandarin? Tell me about it. Don't worry. We're going to discuss all of that. Where the hell is Mandarin? We don't know. We don't know. Maybe they have to be saving him for something else. Surely, 
surely. Or maybe they're just idiots. Maybe, maybe that's just the simple answer. <laughs> maybe it's just that. <laughs> it just could be as simple as that, all right? Uh, Robert says, I may have to get the She-Hulk. Uh, X says, Richie Rich is looking good with the Avengers shirt. Christopher Allen says, hello. That's uh, Richie's favourite, Christopher Allen. Um, um, Arvin as well says, hey, everybody. Hope everyone's Jub having a great Jubilee, weekend. Christopher Allen, level. Oh, wow. level. That is high praise for Christopher Allen. I love Christopher Allen as well, by the way. But that is high praise from Rich. Uh, calls in the chat as well. Call joined us recently at Legend of the Liquor. Uh, go uh, follow him on Instagram. I mean, we've encouraged him to make a new Instagram like we all do. We all have our own Instagram where we post pictures of our food and our dogs. And then we realise, no, no one wants to care about that. We need toys. We need toys. So go follow uh, Call. Do we, do we even post? And, like, my, no. my reg instagram i don't think i posted in about four years yeah, now exactly the same just, just Ex there. people think i'm dead yeah Pe exactly the same uh <laughs> people think i'm well and sociable anymore and don't do anything like i'm just a hermit i'm like I, i've got a whole of a life people don't know about my, our dirty secret we collect toys um rectangle is in the building it says hello folks uh yeah rectangle we already give you a shout out uh for revealing the iron man wave um many many moons ago many moons ago or so long ago people forgot about it so they were surprised when it got revealed but we knew rectangle we knew we knew uh damien's in the chat as well says evening everybody wave two perhaps titanium man and blizzard if we get a wave two just think there's only ever been one wave of fantastic four we never got another one. We've, at, at this point, wave two will be Kitty Pride and Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to be in there. Kitty character that makes no sense. Stick him in there. Stick him <laughs> in there. Uh, right, let's go back. Let me go back to the housekeeping then, real quick. Go check out all the other long form content on the channel. Uh, Legend of the Cat should be this weekend. However, however, this weekend we are off to N. Uh, I was about to say MCM, but it's not MCM. It's NEC Toy Fair in Birmingham. So I will not be here to stream on Sunday. Maybe I'll film some behind the scenes. I, I say that every time, but they never actually do. So to be honest with myself, check out Jay's channel. Jay would have a great video up because I'm terrible <laughs> at doing stuff. Um, but I instead to make up for missing Sunday, I've told Amanda she's not happy about it, but there's not a lot she can do. Um... She probably will beat me up, to be fair, but it's fine. Uh, oh, we are doing an inner circle tomorrow, people. Tomorrow, the 5th of April, <laughs> we are doing an inner circle. So if you are a channel member at absolutely any tier, any tier at all, the top tier, the bottom tier, it doesn't matter. The inner circle is my thank you, a little bonus show I do quarterly uh, for you guys to come on and just play some games, have some fun, talk some toys, uh, and yeah, get involved. If, if, if you're interested in being on Legend of the Lickout but haven't quite, like, committed to it yet this is a great opportunity to jump on a stream because as soon as the stream is over it disappears it goes behind the paywall and it is not public anymore it is public only while we are live and as soon as the stream ends it goes behind for channel members only all right so perfect opportunity we will be doing that tomorrow we're starting at 9 p.m uk time i think the uk clocks have went forward now so we're back to like our regular scheduled our differences between the east west coast and all that so yeah work it out whatever nine o'clock is on your planet planet we're all on the same planet <laughs> on your side of the planet is what i meant to say uh yeah so tomorrow night we'll be streaming talking toys playing some games all that good stuff all right in a circle uh but to do so again anything over four pounds or four dollars friday it'll be great to hear a voice i've missed her to be honest i'm not gonna lie to you i've missed her uh and so Anything over four pounds or four dollars goes towards supporting the channel. I appreciate you. And then, like I said, hit that join button and you can become a part of the channel. It's as simple as that. Hit the join button. You can be on the channel you're supporting. All right. I think that's a pretty good tier. It's uh, my way of saying thank you. Get involved. Go and check out all the different options you've got over there. Thank you so much. Uh, and I think uh, Topless Group heard me uh, because he's jumped in with a little little chat there. If I come Toy Fair, can I crash at your place? Yeah, of course. Why not? Why not? Will you be wearing clothes though? Uh, that's. I'm, I'm, I'll be I think top of schools would want you to be top oh, really? like, and, and then would watch. I think that's that's what, what top of schools gimmick I'm, is. Amanda will be like, Amanda, we've got a nudist coming to stay at our house. Got, <laughs> Amanda may have a problem with that. I'm not going to lie. That may like she can handle the toy nonsense and a room for the toys, but bringing naked people back to the house that may be her limit. To be fair, um, even if they are from the toy community. Uh, uh, so yeah, thank you very much, Topless Group, to the super chat. I think again, is Friday working? I think she's just left the, the, the channel. She hasn't worked for a couple of streams, so she just give up. She just went, you know what? I'm packing my bags and I'm off. So she may not even come. So uh, if Friday appears, that's great. I, I, I'll interrupt Rich when she does, but she may not even appear. Who knows? 
It's been too long. That's why that's why Brandon had to put trousers on, wasn't it, when we were there last time. <laughs> he had to go to the toilet, didn't he, and put his trousers on. <laughs> Man, his legs were too much. His too much legs were. He was like little little forge booty shorts he was. <laughs> the, people, the people would be fan of that. Oh, there you go. It's probably right. working. Hang on, let's have a listen. Friday, are you there? Topless Scoob 5150 donated $5. If I come to Toy Fair, can I crash at your place? Thank you very much, Topless Scoob. Uh, again, I'll speak to Amanda. You need to confirm if you'll be wearing clothes or not. Um, but uh, we do have a spare room. Or you could just sleep on the floor of my toy room amongst the toys. Uh, there's not a lot of room in here. This room is tiny. Uh, this angle makes it seem bigger. But Rich has been in this room. He knows it's tiny. Right? Back me up, Rich. It's small, right? It's small. I did not sleep in there. He didn't. He didn't. <laughs> He slept in the bed in between me and Amanda. It was great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, right. Uh, your boy's got toys confirmed since 1 p.m. West Coast in the USA. So, yeah. Uh, again, I do try and stream a little bit later for an inner circle to accommodate people finishing work and stuff. So, I will be streaming quite late. I'll, it'll be like a four-hour stream minimum. Uh, again, I hope Amanda didn't hear me say that. I told her it'll be half an hour. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I thought that'd be... Dan, future Dan could deal with those consequences. Um, right. Okay. Let's get into some actual toy talk then, Rich. Uh, let's get back to... Iron Man, shall we? So, right, here we go. So, at WonderCon, they revealed the Iron Man retro wave. There they are, all on show. They did a panel. It was an action brands panel, I believe, from Hasbro. So we had some Ghostbusters, uh, some G.I. Joe, uh, some Star Wars. Uh, the Ghostbusters, they revealed the Ecto-1 that nobody wanted last time, but now with some figures to go with it, which does make it more appealing. So maybe I am an idiot. I, I don't know. But anyway... It's a Plasma Series Ecto-1. I was hoping for some Plasma Series 6-inch figures like like these guys because I think these guys are pretty good, but we, we did not get any. Um, have you seen the new film yet, Rich? I did oh, see... Did. Well, I saw the first half, oh, didn't I? Then I fell, oh, yeah, then you I fell you asleep. Told you told me. So you've not <laughs> went back and seen the rest of it yet? No, okay, no. I haven't, I haven't yet. I'm sure, I'm sure it was good. It was good up until like the Ice King ghost appeared and then... I was out like like not because it was a crap film because I was very very drunk. That's yeah, why. Yeah, I, I like the film. I just there's a few just a few no bits of the story. I was like, did they really need to do that particular thing? That was the thing that bothered me. But otherwise, it was a good film. Uh, and Star Wars did some reveals, but honestly, I I couldn't tell you what they were. I didn't I didn't pay any attention to that. G.I. Joe just regurgitated stuff that we already knew was coming so technically i don't think we got any joe reveals at all they just showed she, images for stuff there right? was something emily said that she said she hadn't yeah cleared it was the someone. snake version the no man version of cobra commander it's when cobra cobra commander actually turned into part man part snake i can't remember what they officially call him but i think that's what she revealed name only uh because otherwise everything they, they showed we'd already <laughs> seen before do you know what I think of these panels, though? Do you know what I wish? I wish there was someone from Hasbro in the audience pre-vetting the questions and being like, that's a stupid question. Sit the fuck down. Mm. Because honestly, what do people ask? What do they ask, Dan? Well, it's civilians, isn't it? At these type of conventions. This is why Hasbro goes to these type of conventions because we think our community is massive because we're involved in it weekly, etc. But the reality is we're such a small niche and the majority of people that go to these conventions will probably just be casuals that don't even realise there's a massive online toy community. So they ask the, the questions that all of us are just smirking, giggling at because we know the answers already. So we got to give them the benefit of the doubt. But you're not wrong. Someone should be vetting Ooh, them. Let's Someone... not. Let's not. <laughs> Someone should be vetting them. Though. No, you're not wrong. Someone should be vetting them. Um, but uh, but uh, yeah, they, they 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 rush through the questions anyway. They didn't leave a lot of time for questions. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get into this Iron Man wave. So let's just go through it, uh, figure at a time. Uh, by a whatever got the money in the on. Break, 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 okay break. shout out topless scoob again topless scoob 5150 <laughs> okay, donated five dollars no to worry i always wear socks thank you friday and thank you topless group he said not to worry he always wears socks so he won't be completely <laughs> naked all right i let amanda know i let amanda know do you mind someone coming to stay at our house don't worry they'll be wearing socks um right so let's just go through it which order they do, do it in actually Let's do it in the order they showed in. So I think the first one they showed off was the Model 20, I believe, right? Oh, that's not Model 20. That's Model 9. Model 20 is down here. Pow. Okay, cool. So Iron Man Model 20. So they revealed this first, I believe. Now, I think we have got this in the Toybiz days. So this is like a, a modernized, pinless version. So it's definitely some new molding on here, or new sculpting on here for sure. Um, 
And it's another Iron Man armor for your forever growing Hall of Armor. I, I say this all the time. I think Iron Man armors and Spider-Man variants are fair game because you can make them work for your collection if you're a fan of those two particular things. So, again, not the most exciting, but if this is your particular flavor armor, then I'm sure you'll be very happy for it. So, Rich, any attachment to the Mark 20 or the Model 20 armor for Iron Man here in Marvel Legends form? I do like the Model 20. Good era of Iron Man stories. So, yeah, I will be getting the Model 20 Iron Man. It's an Iron Man figure. So it fits on the retro card, even though it technically was around much later than the Toy Biz days. It is still, I think it is okay to put an Iron Man on an Iron Man card. I, I have no problem with this being on a retro card, even though technically it's not like a retro figure. Because the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Spider-Man, they do have figures who weren't part of the original Toy Biz line. So I don't think you can say it has to be like a Toy Biz figure to be on, yeah? So yeah, no problem with this one. And yeah, it's a good armor, good storyline. And it's an Iron Man. So what's wrong? No, nothing wrong with that. No problems with this one. Yeah, it's an Iron Man, an Iron Man armor. It's absolutely fair game. Um, and here, here's just a, a quick picture I've Googled of multiple different armors that Iron Man has wore within the comics. So do you know, like, yes, they are all very similar. Of course they are. But they are different. And each, each of them is attached to their own particular story arcs within the comics as well. So some of them you may recognize, some of them you may not. It genuinely just depends on what era of the comics you were reading. Uh, but if I've seen lots of people with really, really good Iron Man Hall of Armor display. So if you can add a new, completely pinless version of Iron Man to that, I'm sure people will be happy. Uh, so yeah, the Model 20 would be like maybe on this third row down here somewhere over this side i think um so as you can see there's freaking loads of them loads of them would we buy them all in legends form yes we absolutely would so um yeah the model 20 not bad at all and it is completely pinless uh from the images we've seen shout out unparalleled unparalleled universe was there shout out mcu collector who streamed the whole panel as well um so he did a little reel so there are some images out there of these figures in hand so you can have a closer look. Uh, there's a few poses here from Imparalloud. And it looks good. It looks like a solid Iron Man armor to add to your collection. Um, do you do you know what era this is from, Rich, in particular? Like, is it a 90s armor, an 80s armor? Like, it, isn't it like late 90s, early 2000s? Yeah, I I'd, say, it like, is around I'd there. say 90s. I, I, I just assume the 90s. Um, Billy looks good. He looks good. I like it. And like Rich said, it's an Iron Man and an Iron Man retro card. Fair game. Makes sense. Cool. So, next up. I think next up was Backlash, or as they now call him correctly, Whiplash. Even though I've come to learn that both names are completely accurate. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, he changed his name to like Backlash for a bit in the comic books. But yeah, he has always been Whiplash. And again, this is the look that he had in the Iron Man animated TV series. So of all the figures in this wave, he is the most worthy of this packaging. Again, he was released in the original Toy Biz line as well under the Black Lash name. And yeah, it looks really good. We haven't had a Whiplash figure, I don't think, in the Marvel Legends nope. line. And nope. So it's like a great figure to get. I like this. Looks really good. Again, his ponytail was too big to fit in the packaging. So let's put it separate, but you can plug it in. You could have come with more accessories. Yeah, yeah maybe an articulated right, whip. Right. Oh, hang on, we've got Jay with the super chat. Thank you very much. Jay's Jay. underscore toy collection UK okay. donated That's five insane. pounds. Let's kick off a great WrestleMania and Toy Fair weekend. Lots of toys and no sleep. I'm hyped, but hash, where's my Mandarin? Maybe in the Haslab? Indeed, indeed, Jay. We shall discuss, don't you worry. Where is Mandarin? Uh, but let's kick off this great <laughs> WrestleMania and Toy Fair weekend. Lots of toys and no sleep. I'm hyped. Uh, but where's my Mandarin? Yeah, Jay is going to sleep like a baby when it comes to Monday, I am sure, after a busy weekend of WrestleMania and toys. But it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Um, but yes, back to Backlash and Whiplash. So as Rich was show talking there, I was showing you this is the original Toy Biz figure from the mid 90s. So this, to be fair, is probably the most accurate recreation or tribute, if you will, in the Marvel Legends lineup we got here. And like Rich alluded to, this is how he exactly looked in the animated show. So this is probably if you're a fan of that Iron Man animated show or a fan of this original uh line back in the day this is probably going to be one of your favorites of the wave because it, it pulls from the most accuracy from the cartoon and from the card back but you'll notice back in the 90s they called him backlash which isn't inaccurate he did change his name in the comics during the 90s as well to backlash but now they have named him correctly because he was called whiplash as we know him 
uh, on the new card. So do you reckon they should have stayed true to the old card and called him Backlash? Or are you happy they changed it to Whiplash? Because I'd always call him Whiplash anyway. So I think Whiplash is fine. I mean, I'm not as hung up on the names as like other people. Like, like, like if Mandarin, if it's the name that's calls name, call him something else and just put him on the card. Like, Jim. it's more the figures. Yeah, exactly. Green Jim. Yeah, because uh, like at the end of the day, I'm not keeping these on the card. I don't have that attachment to the Iron Man card, even though I mean, I'm going to mourn about the card back in a bit. But <laughs> like, it doesn't really matter in the long run to me about it. But yeah, to someone like yourself who's going to display him, maybe, maybe if you were a fan of the Iron Man Animated TV show, you would want him to say Black Glass, and you would want that deeper V, because obviously in the year 2020s, we have to cover up the boobs now, Dan, no we more do. boobs for anyone, we do. We do. so that the V doesn't go as deep anymore. Yeah, um, I do like this one, uh, I do like this one a lot, uh, again, I think Imparaloud has uh, some pictures here. Uh, I'm uh, it it Shout out Z-Man, he says, Iron Man Animated Series, one of my favourite shows... And I hope we all get uh, a Mandarin. I uh, hope we all get the Mandarin's crew. Yeah, so we're close to completing the Mandarin's crew, actually, in Marvel Legends form. We will talk about that. Uh, but yeah, I, I think Spider-Man, uh, X-Men were always like ab above and beyond when it comes to the animated shows. But I did watch Iron Man more so than any of the other ones, uh, at least. I don't think I ever really watched Hulk or Fantastic Four. I knew they were out there, but I never watched them. Iron Man, I'd definitely watch, uh, but not as much as X-Men and spider-man they were like top tier compared to the two um but i do remember it. it's on disney plus as well i think i have revisited season one at least because they change the intro don't they as the show progresses i think but it yeah, has, see, uh, yeah season one is kind of like more avengy because he's got like, the the force works crew yeah and then season two they kind of get rid of them apart from spider woman and it becomes more iron man tony centric yeah but yeah, he looks good. Completely pinless as well, by the way. Uh, new head sculpt, new forearms and boots, I believe. Um, uh, no butterfly joints, but uh, I do think that torso uh, could be new because of the deep V, or maybe it's just been add something added to it. Either way, we're getting another satchel. Hooray! Now in lilac. So uh, you can forever accessorize your Marvel Legends with that satchel. Any opportunity to get it in there, you know they will. They love that thing. Um... So, yeah, Satchel, Green Ponytail. Uh, unfortunately, that isn't a bendy wire whip. That would have been a nice touch, but unfortunately, we know that's never to be the case. But it still looks pretty good for posing and display. So I, I genuinely like this one. I genuinely do think it's like one of the highlights uh, of the wave. Uh, so I think after that, they jumped back to another Iron Man. Uh, and this one got a bit of a murmur from the crowd. Like, if you watch the uh, panel back, uh, when they revealed this... There was a bit of a groan from the, the audience because we're like, uh-oh, like we really didn't expect to see this again. But uh, Ryan was very quick to say that this has been upgraded, if you will. But has it been upgraded by 15 years? I don't know. But it's called the Model 9. Now, to be fair, I like this Iron Man design. Like, it's very old-school, retro-y looking, bulky Iron Man design. But the old figure was pretty shit. Uh, the old figure originally came in the Iron Man three days. And then we got it again in the first wave of retro cards. Um, and it was always a little bit short. And the articulation was pretty naff as well. Um, so I've got rid of my... Like, I don't even have any of the original ones. I think I've still got the Iron Man on the retro card. Uh, but never, I haven't got any of these figures loose anymore. And I've seen a couple pop up on eBay recently as well. So I was trying to buy one for a fiver. Do you know, for a little comparison when I eventually do this. Yeah. But I uh, haven't got it. Have you got this? I, I've had it a summer. I don't think I've got it anymore. Because yeah. I tend to like... I, got I haven't this? got the biggest Iron Man armor. If anyone's got this, bring it to Toy Fair. So I can have it in a comparison from a review. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, this is the Model 9. But it has been tweaked, Rich. It has been tweaked. Now, we've been told... New boots. Okay? New boots. Yeah. He's got those... He's very in fashion. So he's wearing those Astro Boy boots. That have been very popular on the aftermarket recently. Um, would you ever have ever wore those Astro Boy boots? You know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, if someone paid me, yeah, I'd wear, yeah. wear any, any boots, Dan. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm easy with boots. <laughs> so uh, he's got the pins on the knees. So I think it's the old feet. But maybe the boots give him that additional height. But look at that image. It doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't... I got money in the bank. Uh, here's the biggest dog ever. Let Friday read that. Uh, Friday didn't read it. But I do want to celebrate the biggest dog ever super chat. Thank you very much. Uh, he says, I just wish they had done the original version of this armor uh, before Romina gave him bucket boots. 
Romita. Romita. So that, it, yeah, so I think the original vision of, of it was like an 80s armor. So like there's a couple of artists, but I think it was John Romita who gave him those like boots, the the more chunkier boots that they've gone with here. Again, it's not uh I, I don't think it's a bad design, but it's not one that I need again for my shelf. I don't think it it doesn't hit home for me, but being like an 80s, 90s suit, it fits in with this retro card pack. So, yeah, it's not the worst thing. I think it could come with more, I think, because it's an armor we've had before. I don't think it, it's updated quite enough for me to want to pick it up. Hey, Bridge, do you know it comes with brand new accessories we've never seen before in the Marvel Legends line? Look at that! Does that not convince you? No, oh, not really. No. Sorry, a bit sorry. Max here. Well, I, thought, I thought you'd get hype then. Uh, I was trying to bring the hype level up for you. But, yeah, these are new accessory pieces. There you go. Uh, I've, got, I've got enough puffs in my life, Dan. <laughs> well, there you go. It's in his hand. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. They've added something different, at least. Uh, I, we usually always have the same bloody... I think I've got a box. I've got a whole box full of those old Iron Man blast effects. So I'd like to see them try something different. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I, until I get this one in hand, I, I will hold my judgment. Because if he's, a, if he's scaled better, then I'll, I'll be a little bit happier. Does, Rick, does uh, Imparalloud have a video of him? No, and Parallel didn't do a reel of that. He's slacking. Slacking wage. He's slacking. Um, is there any pictures here? There he is. So uh, uh, you can't really tell because they're all in different poses. But like Rich says, I don't dislike the armor. Uh, but it's not the most exciting uh, of figures uh, revealed. But it's an Iron Man on an Iron Man card. Uh, I think Rectangular has been posting some interesting stuff all week actually about the actual model numbers, how accurate they are to the comics. Uh, so go and check out uh, Rectangular's socials um, because he did some decent comparisons of like... He, I think, again, just going off the top of my head, and correct me if I'm wrong, Todd, if you're still in the chat, is this... You said this was like... Should be technically the 9.5 because it's got pieces of the 9 and the 10 or something like that, I think. In the chat, though, he does say huge, huge improvement from the Model 09 figure. So, yeah. It's a new torso, new boots... Um, and yeah, it gives the essence of that Iron Man armor that I do think a lot of people like. So yeah, maybe it's a, a little bit better than we initially thought when, when Ryan Ting first showed this image on the screen, but, uh, we shall see it's they're due very soon. They're due very soon. Uh, right. And then next up, we got the first time ever in the Marvel Legends line. And again, I think I'm right in saying that it's Count yep. Nefaria, uh, who is, uh, I've, I've not just an Iron Man villain, an Avengers villain, uh, an X Men villain. Uh, killed, killed Thunderbird in the X Men in uh, Uncanny X Men. You have to join X Men, right? Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, he's like a Italian guy, a rich Italian guy who gets powers from like some experiment from Baron Zemo or something like that. And now he's hey, like, Hey, Tony Stark, I got the powers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's exactly like that. Uh, it's a me, I can't the very <laughs> It's of me. Um, but he loves pasta as well, that man. Um, to be fair, he looks pretty good. I love adding brand new characters to the line. Uh, and we've never had him before. Uh, Topless Scoob is back with another super chat. Is he wearing any more clothes? Topless Scoob, 5,150 donated $5. Rich, how much for you to wear boots and be topless at Toy Fair? <laughs> oh, you name a price, Rich. A topless Scoob says, Rich, how much for you to wear boots and be topless at Toy Fair? <laughs> I, I want to find some figures at Toy Fair and I don't want to get thrown out. And I, I'm staying on, in the complex on site, so I don't want to be banned from the NEC. And shout, shout out to my friend, the security guard from last time. What was his name? What was his name? Well, your fellow's coming this time. He ain't going to want you walking around topless. Well, maybe I, he will. He, he, might, he might appreciate maybe it. Who knows? Actually, that might be the thing you. he likes about it. I don't think he's going to be interested in the toys. <laughs> as soon as we walk through the door, you're like, look, I know you don't like the toys, but... <laughs> This will keep you entertained as we walk around. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a better discount. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to you there on that one, Topless Crew, but we appreciate the super chat all the same. Uh, but yes, back to our Italian friend, uh, Count Nefaria. First time in the Marvel Legends line, completely pinless. Uh, he's on the Vulcan body uh, with some new gloves, I believe. The head sculpt looks pretty good as well, to be fair. New cape, new sort of rope piece, new belt. I think this is Tom... Uh, Paul Hardin, sorry. Um, I think he was talking about it on, on Twitter. So I know those elements are new. So he doesn't come with much. We get those massive oversized Vulcan hands that we get with all the Vulcan figures.
figures. They're massive. I don't know. I don't know why. They don't bother me too much, but they're definitely oversized for the body. Uh, so we don't get a lot, but it's a new character to add to the line, and I think it's a pretty solid representation of this old school Avengers villain. Uh, so I think this is a pretty good figure. Uh, so so far, I do think Backlash or Whiplash and uh, Count of uh the highlights uh, of the wave. What do you think, Rich, of Count of Faria? One you will be adding to your collection. It is it is great. It's great. Get right to the chat saying I can't wait for topless rich. <laughs> calm, calm yourself down, get right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Count Nefaria is a good figure. I mean, like he wasn't in the anime TV show, but he is an Iron Man villain. So yeah, it kind of fits. I do not have a problem with this. It's a character they've wanted for a long time. Like you said, he fits in lots of different places in the Marvel universe. And yeah, a great villain a great villain to add to the shelves. Yeah, I, I just love, again, it's all about world building for me, world building and display, and that's what I love about collecting. And I don't have a Count Nefaria, so if I can add a, an accurate, pinless representation of that character to my shelf, it is not a bad thing. So, uh, yeah, whack it on an Iron Man card. Why the hell not? Uh, it's a way to get him into the line. So, yeah, Count Nefaria, great choice. So, continuing the pattern of character, Iron Man, character, Iron Man, we have our third Iron Man. And a surprise to absolutely nobody... We now have our gold Iron Man. Now, we know we got the, the, the grey version of this suit last year during the Iron Man 60th anniversary. And all of us, collectively, as a community, knew eventually, at some point, they would do the gold version of this suit. Uh, which is absolutely fair game. No complaints from me. To be honest, I would take the gold over the grey. And you know, that's how they work. They give you the least desired one first, so they get your money. And then they give you the one they want, alright? It's Marketing 101, people. And we're suckers. We fall for it every time. Because I will absolutely be buying this. Because this is Avengers 1 Iron Man. If you watch, uh, read Avengers 1, uh, or even Avengers 2, it was gold for a little bit, to be fair. This is Iron Man uh, armor for those particular series. And considering we're getting Giant Man later this year, and a classic Wasp, just think we got Giant Man in, in issue 2 of the Avengers. We're going to be able to build a very accurate looking... Uh, we're not quite there yet when it comes to accurate representations of characters but we're getting close to building a very accurate looking avengers team so that's what i get excited about for this figure we get the same accessories we got with the gray version and to be fair considering how bulky and awkward looking it is of a character design it does articulate a lot better and it's a very nice figure so rich did you get the gray one and are you happy yeah. to see it in gold yeah, I did get the grey one. I am happy to see this in gold. I don't mind it being on this card pack just because it's an Iron Man and it is, apart from the silver one, it is the classicest of all Iron Man armors. It fits in with this. And again, that original one when it was released, it was like a, not like, like a, not a deluxe figure, but it was like an oversized figure that was a bit dearer. And this on the retro card is regular Marvel Legends price. So if they're going to reuse it and make it cheaper, I'm not going to complain. I know it is only in gold, but it is still, you know, it's a worthy addition to the shelf. And it also means, thank fuck, that Wasp is probably not coming in a five pack, which I was thinking, oh, are they going to do a five pack with like a bunch of re-releases? The fact that this is on its own means probably Wasp is either on her own or in a two pack, I'm guessing now. So I'm happy to get this on its own and I can add it to my shelf. Yeah, uh, yeah, we can discuss Wasp a little bit later, but uh, they have updated this one or give it a few little mods to make it a little bit more accurate as they've given them a little skirt, which was clearly fashionable at the time. Who doesn't love a mini skirt? Uh, show off those <laughs> legs. Um, but we get the Iron Man head, which is a pretty good head sculpt for Tony Stark, to be fair. Uh, your fisted hands and then a couple of those blast effects with the smoke. So to, again, if you have that previous Iron Man, it's a pretty solid figure. The, the ball joint is at the waist, so it looks like there's no articulation, but that ball joint at the waist does give him a lot of rotation he's completely pinless and uh, yeah it's just a solid figure so like rich said like it didn't need to be on this iron man card but if this is the way they can get it out to us i'm absolutely fine with that it is one that i did want uh, and it's again it's an iron man variant on an iron man card i think that's absolutely fair game uh no complaints from me uh just jump into the chat real quick our friend california red devil uh he loves donatello just letting you know he says is hasbro releases figures like refs grant chelsea penalties we get the whole wave for a dollar oh wait chelsea are playing man U right now shit it's, it's dan who versus california red devil i'm live on youtube i'm not even checking the score have they just got a penalty is carl is cool carl palmer scored it come on someone update me in the chat come on because i'll I, I stress out now i can't look at my phone that's unprofessional someone update me in the chat what's the chelsea score what's the chelsea score <laughs> So it's Dan it's Dan Who versus California Red Devil, but the that, that super chat makes me think Carl Palmer's just scored another penalty. I hope so anyway. Um right, 
Let's go. Next stop is She Hulk, right? It is She Hulk. There she is. So... Both the best and the worst of the wave in one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Brian Ting did say like this one may not have any particular association. She was not in the animated show at all in the 90s and she was also not a part of the original toy line in the 90s now i think i figured out the connection here rich she met she met iron man once in a comic book she was on the avengers with the with with iron man oh you've gone even deeper than me i was just going to say they're both marvel characters that, that, <laughs> was, that was how close <laughs> i got into figuring it out but uh you've got to, yeah so yeah it's an odd choice uh for her to be on the on an iron man retro card However, I don't think anyone can deny that this isn't a good-looking She-Hulk figure, especially when the last version we got of this particular look for She-Hulk was that gangly A-Force box set version, which I don't even think I left on my shelf. I think I got rid of it because it's in a box somewhere because it's just not a good figure. I'm looking. I'm trying to see if I've got it. The last one we got was like the modernised one with all the rat-tatty clothes, right? Uh, we got yeah. that in the grey and the green. I can see them on my shelf. But uh, yeah, this one is sort of a more classic looking, happy go lucky Jennifer Walters, and she looks good. Like as a so forget that she's an Iron Man card. Uh, she looks good here, right? So what are your thoughts on uh, on She Hulk? So this is a great figure, Jennifer Walters. I think if people remember, we had David Evan Smith on for a stream. Me, you, and David Evan Smith, and I think I championed this look way back then. I'm sure David would be in the comments agreeing with me about that. But I really wanted this look for this figure. And it just looks great. The head sculpt, the hair, the outfit. Obviously, they've got that new bigger female body now that we've seen with like Power Princess. So, I mean, why not reuse it and get it on She-Hulk? This looks phenomenal. There's a lot of new pieces as well. The hair, I know some people say like it gets in the way like of him moving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it just, it's just it's accurate. I, I, I'd rather that than like a shorter hairstyle so she can just move her neck. Because this just looks like She-Hulk. I like that new gun accessory that's like, a split in two as if she's like snapped it it's all like you said it's nice to have new accessories my only bit that i don't like about this is that it's in an iron man wave like why why is it an iron man wave it, look it doesn't even fit in the packaging dan look she's gone into the overspill of the packaging down in the bottom all those she hulk legs are going to be bent to smithereens lucky it's on the new body not the jean gray body because if it's on the jean gray body no one should buy it because it would never stand yeah. up in a million years maybe we'll get jelly legs straight out of the packaging which isn't good is it just me or does the knees look like they're like prototype knees the so green's, if, the green's a little bit off isn't it if you've bought any marvel legend in the last couple of years they've sent they've been using like cheaper plastic on the knees the and the elbows yeah it's it's a common theme lately hopefully that won't be as a like as of like there it's not as obvious so maybe in packaging it won't yeah, be so it's bad the maybe it's the lighting maybe it's the lighting but, but it, it, it's, it, it's just why of all like, there's so rock, many the things toe is literally that right little bit like, the bottom on it yeah that's funny it just it just makes no sense on this packaging. That is my only issue with this, is like, I don't understand why it is in an Iron Man wave. Like, there's so many females you could put in an Iron Man wave, and there's so many places you could put a She-Hulk figure. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. Uh, the biggest dog is back. He says, I can't wait for the Fantastic Four repaint. Yeah, which would make more sense on a Fantastic Four retro card, or this figure on the grey retro card. Oh, don't, don't bother with a retro card. Put her in the blooming a bath wave. R get rid of Red Widow and put her in that wave. She could have been in that wave in packaging with her legs straight. There that, are, that's, I just don't get it. I just don't understand this for an Iron Man wave. That's, there, are that's rumors, my there are rumours of a, 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 a Dragon Man at some point this year, which is, he originally was on the uh, Toy Biz, in the Toy Biz days, he was on the Fantastic Four card. So maybe they could repaint this in like a Dragon Man builder figure wave or something like that later in the year, maybe just oh, could be maybe could just be. putting that out there. Um, but yeah, like Rich says, it makes no sense on an Iron Man card. I completely agree. But just looking at the figure as an individual figure, it's a great representation of She-Hulk. Much better than again for me compared to the She-Hulks we've got, and we've got a couple of decent ones recently, like I mentioned. But th I prefer this look over the modern look for sure uh, and again you put you give her a blue leotard with the four on it and you got yourself a fantastic four she hawk as well um, and R rush in the chat says in the 90s hulk series are your man guest starred on that which is fair enough but then put this on a hulk like combat yeah. like of all the hulk we could get hulk she hulk doc samson the leader abomination put them on the hulk retro card like 
it, this just this just makes no sense. And I know it's a stupid argument because I'm going to take the other packaging and chuck it anyway. So really, in the long run, it doesn't really matter. But it's just like, it's why. And like like Greg says in the chat, I wanted that Iron Man Wanda. I did want Wanda with her short hair and her long skirt and her boobs out. That's what I wanted. Or Hypnosia or even another Julia Carpenter or Spider-Woman. I mean, in the year of Julia Carpenter's Big screen debut. Why not give us another Julia Carpenter? Didn't it, Dan? Everyone loved that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone <laughs> Everyone loved their Madam Web film. I've Sony, please stop noticed. sending me emails. I'm not buying the movie again. I saw it twice in cinema. I don't want to see it again. I've seen it stop. pop up on your PlayStation as well. Maybe, <laughs> uh, so there's some in-hand pictures here as well. Uh, she does look really good in person. So like, again, Rich isn't wrong. It makes no sense for it to be on an Iron Man card, but it doesn't matter, does it, in the grand scheme of things? Not everybody is an idiot like me and fills their wall with retro cards. So I'm sure the majority of the community are not going to be too bothered. Got the money in the bank, to bank, bank. And uh, he shulk for she shulk. He hulk for she hulk donated he hulk five dollars. Okay, so I cancelled my patch. Joe fix it two pack to have a threesome of she hulks. Uh, so he shulk. I can't even say. What can I read? He hulk, he hulk for she hulk. Thank you. Um, says I cancelled my Joe. Uh, Pat, Patch and Joe fix it two pack to have the free Hulk of She Hulk. Is that Alexi? Because I remember Alexi telling me in my YouTube comments <laughs> that he's cancelled his uh, Patch and Joe fix it. Uh, yes, Patch and Joe fix it. Review on the channel now. Uh, a lot of people are actually leaving comments saying that they look great, but they're not essential to their collection. So they're waiting for like a discount or a sale or something. And I don't disagree with that, but I, I'm a sucker. What can I say? But um, I do think they look very, very good. So. And that's my mind's eye of Joe, Joe Fix It, even though he only wore there on that one front cover. <laughs> but when you say Joe Fix It, that is the image that comes to mind. So he's like, like that, and yeah. that's that, that's the yeah. best bit about it is he can do that. And I try, I tried, Rich. I tried, <laughs> I tried to redo it, but you can't cross any of their arms, unfortunately. So yeah, you can't get the pose accurate. But go and check out my review on the channel. They're de they're decent. They're decent. It's a nice representation of a tribute to that cover, if you will. Uh, Shout out in parallel again. I think he did do a little video for She-Hulk. She does look very nice. Um, so yeah, I like that green as well. Very bright, very bright green. And like you said with the hair, even though she ain't going to look up, I'm not going to pose her looking up on my shelf anyway. Do you know what I mean? So it genuinely does not bother me at all. Uh, so yeah, all good, all good. Um, so let's just have a quick... Let's just go down memory lane if you if you if the chat doesn't mind indulging us and uh, just go to the the list that we had, Rich, um, because I think we've both said it's a nice wave, but the the character selection, like the Iron Man's, like you can't really. It's an Iron Man retro wave, and they're throwing Iron Man figures on there, right? So you can't really be mad at it, but there were. I do think this could have they could have shoved maybe two Iron Man figures and used this as an opportunity to get some more characters out there. So I, I think if just one of the Iron Man were like from like would redo of those like original Toy Biz figures or even just those armors or even just the Tony Star, it's the fact that apart from Whiplash, none of these characters appear in that. Which is it's not to say they can't, and maybe this is a good thing in that we'll get many more waves of Iron Man, like we have yeah. X Men and Spider Man. But I just think for the first wave, I think the big one is obviously is Mandarin. The fact that we didn't get a Mandarin, I think e even if Mandarin had replaced Whiplash, that would have been a big draw and would have been, I think more people would have been happy with it. Not, not, not that I think people are unhappy with it. I think it is a good character selection for a Marvel Legends wave is a good character selection. I just think it's not a bath wave. This is the retro card wave. And then it's kind of like, okay, now you're giving us retro cards, but they don't really make as much sense as they maybe should. Yeah. It's like, we're paying the same price as a bath wave. We're not getting the bath piece. These don't come with any accessories. Only one's got knocked their head that we've had before. It's again, the, the bit, the bits lacking, which are, I know, which I know is like a stupid argument when I'm going to take these out of the packaging anyway, but that, it just, it bugs me. It bugs me, dad. Yeah, it no, bugs no, me. Fair. And this is YouTube. I'm here to like have a moan, right? Yeah. I don't get to moan in my real life. No one gives a shit when I'm like, this is not the right card. They say, <laughs> fuck off, Richard. That's what they tell me. Okay. It's like I'm a one hour a week to mourn you, okay? I'll be happy. I'll be it's happy fine. again it's in a fine. bit. It's fine. We're, we're here to listen. <laughs> we're here to listen. Um, I, I, I agree with the character selection. And when uh, we didn't expect them to reveal a whole wave. So when we were watching the, the stream and uh, Ryan said, oh, I've got a whole wave to reveal. We were like, oh, wow. Okay, that's great. And when they revealed it was the Iron Man retro wave, I, I said this in my little news video. I genuinely sat back and got comfortable. And I was like, ah, this is going to be good. I was like, right, we're going to get Mandarin, surely. And then they revealed one. I was like, okay, 
and then they reveal two, and I'm like, it's all right, the Mandarin's coming. I'm not worried. They got all the way. They revealed all five figures. There was one left, and I was like, ha, well, it makes sense. They're saving the Mandarin for last. Of course it makes sense. And then they showed a green character, and I was like, it's, 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 it's She-Hulk. It, it's She-Hulk. It's not, it's not the Mandarin. I was very confused. I didn't even reply, respond to anybody or write anything online for a good 10 minutes as I was sat there scratching my head going... Where? Why not Mandarin? It made no like we Mandarin's a big gap. Like Count Nefaria, great to have him in the line. We've never had him before. New character, that's great. But the Mandarin, like they've teased on packaging and like we've had, uh, they're just with, with the, with the Shang Chi movie and like the the Mandarin's been around. The, the name has been used in the sort of pop culture for a little bit because of Iron Man Three and all that. So like the Mandarin's a character that the community have been asking for since the two pack version is basically just a co traffic cone. Let's be honest. So like. Well, why not? Why haven't they gave us Mandarin here? Is there a reason we didn't get Mandarin here, Rich? That has to be, right? I, I, I think, uh, like, just the way the world at the minute, and I think maybe that. Is I, it a, I is honestly, it a political thing, really? I, I don't know, because to me, it's not. But then, like, I'm a white man, so I, 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 don't, I don't get it at all. I mean, like, I don't understand if there is an issue with Mandarin, like... I, again but it's not it's not my thing to say so again i would buy a mandarin it doesn't offend me but maybe there are people out there who are i don't i don't know dan i don't know i don't work for hasbro i don't work for marvel tell us I don't, rich tell us i don't know i don't know um no, I but i think like even if you called it something else like i don't know i don't know marvel's iron man nemesis or something I, call, else. I, I don't understand it Green Jim would have worked they, fine. They didn't call uh, Psylocke Lady Mandarin, did they, on that packaging? No, they just called her Psylocke. Yeah. Yeah, they just called her Psylocke. But yeah, it was Lady Mandarin. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, I, again, like, maybe I'm a bit naive to the world. Again, I, I, like, I, I didn't realise there was a, an issue with it. Um, but uh, for me, I just... My association is to the Marvel character. Do you know what I mean? So again, I, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. But... Uh, the character, the Marvel character Mandarin, is someone I would like to add to the collection for sure. And it made no sense. Uh, it made a lot of sense for him to be in this wave. So I was surprised, like many people in the chat are now saying, where's my Mandarin? Hashtag where's Mandarin? People are a little bit uh, disappointed not to see him because it would have made got money in the bank. Uh, bank. Andrew with a super chat. Thank you so much. Andrew Chappell donated you, $10. Andrew. Yay, I made it to a live show. You're live. I still need the silver armor whiplash. I am sorry if that was already talked about. Uh, you are very welcome, my friend. He says, yay, I made it to a live show. We are live on YouTube, Andrew, and we see your super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, he says, I still need the silver armor whiplash. I am sorry if that was already talked about. We did talk about whiplash. We didn't talk about any particular silver armor version of whiplash, but uh, we did say that we like this one. Um, but uh, it was a, is the silver armor like more is more iconic look, I suppose, maybe? Silver. I mean, it's a, it's a more modern day look, I suppose, for Whiplash. But I, I like this classic look. I think for this card, it works well. Yeah, it makes sense for this card for sure. But uh, like we were saying, back to Mandarin. So let me just jump on the jump on uh, the cards that me and Rich were talking about last time. Let me just throw these on screen, okay? So, okay, so this we're going back to episode 167 right now. Me and Rich were talking about the potential Iron Man because that's right. Again, we, we knew this was coming. We, we, knew, we knew it was coming, people, all right? But we did not know they would not give us Mandarin. So Mandarin was a big gap, a big op missed opportunity for me. Uh, so was Tony Stark. Tony Stark. So as I mentioned, they gave us three Iron Man figures on this card, three different variant Iron Man figures, which is absolutely fair game, okay? Iron Man characters or Iron Man variant designs on an Iron Man card. However, what about the man inside the suit, Mr. Tony Stark? Again, you can't have Peter Parker without Spider-Man. You can't have Tony Stark without Iron Man, unless Rhodey's wearing the suit, but don't worry about that. It's fine. It's Iron Man. Um, and we did get an Iron Man figure back in the day. Like uh, We just got a Tony Stark Iron Man figure on the retro card. I think he was wearing that grey sort of base yeah. body suit um, and you could plug the armor on top yeah. of any of his like his suitcase because that was what he like yeah. had in the show when I... I think most people who create a hall of armor marvel legends display have themselves like a kit bashed version of a tony stark in a suit because we've got lots of tony stark head sculpts with different iron man bodies but we've never just got a tony stark if I, I, again, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty confident in the modern Hasbro era of Marvel Legends, we've never just got a Tony Stark, where it's just a Tony Stark, whether it's on a suited body or like a base body without the suit or something, I don't know. But 
I think this would have been a great opportunity to whack a Tony Stark in there with a briefcase, like uh, Rich said, that could have been front and center of people's Hall of Armor. Um, they do a good job with the animated accurate heads. Like, just think of the Peter Parker we got in the Spider-Man wave, in the VHF. They did a great Peter Parker animated head. So they could have given us a nice, accurate animated head for Tony Stark. And he could have been the centerpieces to people's Hall of Armor. But... For whatever reason, we did not get him. So just putting that. But I mean, Geist. I think there's always hope, and like with She Hulk here, you could show up in an X Men retro wave <laughs> yeah. next week. Yeah, the next X Force wave. <laughs> Tony Stark, <laughs> Cable, Feral, Tony Stark. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Again, like because I want these characters, I don't care where they turn up. So Tony Stark, Mandarin. Uh, there was Sentry. I think he's one of the characters now we're missing from the Mandarin's crew uh, in figure form. But we do have um, Blizzard, uh, Modok. Um, uh, who else is in that? Blizzard, Modok. I had a picture in my head earlier and I forgot. We've got Greg, Greg Argyle. We've Greg had him. Greg Argyle, yeah. Bigger is it Will Wind as well? We've had him as well. In their yeah. accurate looks as well, to be fair. So I do think Sentry is now the missing piece to the uh, animated Dread villains. Dread Knight. We've had Dread Knight. Yes, we have in the in the Raft set. So yeah, I think Mandarin and Sentry are the two villains we are missing no, now. No, Sentry's the good, good guy. Oh, He's he turns villain later in the comic books, but in the animated show, he's part of Force Works. He works oh, with oh, okay, Tony Stark. Okay, season one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, but we're missing him in figure form. That point is correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then Scarlet Witch in that outfit that Rich really wants. I want, I want that. I want, I want Scarlet Witch with her skunk hair style, a little short <laughs> hair. I love it. I love it. It's definitely skunk hair style. Um. Uh, oh, Rush says in the chat, we got the Tony Stark in the Marvel Ultimate subscription. That is true. We did. We got like a grey suited version, or a brown suited version with like a mustardy tie or something like not, that. Not in the UK, we didn't, Dan, because they don't ship to the UK. Don't say. like the don't British, worry. do they? Don't Discriminated worry. against. We discriminate against by someone. Like. Don't worry. I was about to say that. Yes. Yeah, so for, for you, maybe, but not for us in the UK. We had no opportunity to get that Tony Stark. Uh, very disappointing. Um, <laughs> chat. Never had her in figure form. And there's Backlash, but obviously it's Whiplash. We now got him, so yeah. And then what did we throw? We threw some others in there, but we didn't get any of these either. Didn't get Not any one. of them. Not one of None them. None of them. None of them. Our, wave, our, our waves were better, right? Surely. 100% our waves were better. Okay, if if then, just, just, for, just for the game's sake, if you had to keep free and change free... What you're keeping, what you're changing, who you're adding in. Keep free, change free. The chat can play this as well. I'll read a couple out. Keep free, change free. What you're saying, Rich? So I would get rid of She-Hulk, obviously. That would be the first one. No, and again, it's a good figure, but it just doesn't fit. So She-Hulk would be gone. And as the female, I would put, I would put Hypnosia in okay. because I don't think there's anywhere else you're going to get her. So I would put Hypnosia in here. Um, then I would oh, get is. rid of... I I think gold uh mark one i think i would get rid of the gold mark one oh, even wow. though i know i don't have i don't have as much of a problem with it but i just think we've had the silver one before i would get rid of gold mark one and put tony stark in there i would put tony stark in yeah. and then the, the other four i'm not i know probably then it's going to be the more modern day uh iron man the 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 the, the heroes reborn armor type of thing a heroes return heroes reborn because that, I suppose, is more, more, too more modern than the other ones and replace that with, like, a classic Iron Man suit. Like, maybe Hydro Armor, which Rectangle did a good customer. Maybe maybe that one. I've I seen that few, one in. A few people asking for the Hydro Armor, for sure. Uh, I'd get rid of, again, like again, like Rich says, I like Hulk. She-Hulk's great. But for an Iron Man wave, I think Mandarin would have made so, more sense. I would have took a green-skinned Mandarin with wearing the Ten Rings in replace of She-Hulk. I would have kept Backlash and I'd keep counting the fairy as well because it's a character I don't have and he looks great, pinless, all that. Um, I want gold armor Iron Man because it's Avengers 1 and I do think by the end of this year we're going to have a great classic looking Avengers team on our shelf. So I'll keep that and I'll get rid of the other two Iron Man for a Tony Stark and... No, actually, I'll just get rid of one of them for a Tony Stark and then if I've got Mandarin... Yeah, if I've got Mandarin and Tony Stark in that wave... It's a solid way. Like, honestly, you add Tony Stark and Mandarin in that way. If you take out an Iron Man and you take out She-Hulk and add Tony Stark and Mandarin, I'm not complaining about that wave at all. Because you get two Iron Men, a Tony Stark, and then the rest of the wave, three nice villains uh, for the collection. So that's what I would have done. That's what I would have done. Home dude in the chat says, I know this game. Kill with Blash, bang with Iron Man and marry <laughs> She-Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> 
okay. Uh, collective. Okay, I'll read a couple out from the chat. Let's have a look at the chat. How are you doing, chat? How are you doing? Is everyone still awake? Good, good. Chelsea two all. Oh, sad time. Sad time. We were two 0 up as well, weren't we? Chelsea are terrible at holding their lead. Terrible. Um, okay. Uh, Tyler says hello. Hello, Tyler. How are you doing? Um, Skunky Witch says Omar V. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Collecting Rush says he would keep uh, Nefaria, Whiplash, and Model Twenty, uh, and he would instead add the Mandarin, but call him the Ten Rings. Uh, and also, did you add any more Rush? I can't see the other ones. Uh, okay, turns out not a lot of people played the game. It's fine. <laughs> Fine. I was reading. I was reading. They're all too slow. Uh, oh no, California Red Devil says no. I'd bang She-Hawk, marry Iron Man. He's a billionaire. He's That's not, cool. It's got a good idea. It's not. It's got a good idea. Uh, yes, political marriage to Iron Man is the move. They're all. They're all getting married in the chat. All right. They took the game to another level in the chat. All right. Use carry on then. Use carry on fantasizing. Um, <laughs> Uh, Tac Tac says, I'm watching this live stream from my man cave with a box of scraps. All right. At least he's not talking to himself anymore. I was concerned for Mark Tac Tac for a little bit. Uh, Jay says, uh, Model 20, Model 9, and Count Nefaria are out. They're out of there. And then the Count Mandarin. Nefaria out. Oh, Jay. Mandarin, Sentry, and Tony are in. Sentry? Uh, That's as bad as she Why are you putting Sentry <laughs> this way for? Uh, collecting Rush finished and said he would put in Hypnosia and Sentry to go with the Mandarin. Uh, Greg says, make the black robe be cloth over a black suited body for a more madden, a mod, a modern Mandarin look. Two for one. Uh, Andrew says, the only colours of hair in this wave are black and green. Yep, that's true. That's a correct statement. He's spitting facts there was, in the chat. There was a plastic buying crisis that has well, they ordered too much green and too much black. Yeah, yeah. Just, what would be the perfect figure to make with that? A mandarin. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Lady Mac says, "Snog, marry, avoid." Go on then, Lady Mac. Who would you snog, oh, marry, avoid in this snog, way? Snog, marry, avoid. She, my she... nemesis, my nemesis in life, Dan, she... Jenny Frost. <laughs> she mentioned it, so oh. now I need to know Lady Mac's answers before we move on. Uh, Lady Mac, who do you snog, marry, and avoid in this wave, okay? Based off your knowledge of these Marvel characters. Um, Sentry, though, and not Sentry, <laughs> says Tac Tac. One with a VC and one with an S. Uh, J, J type Sentry, though. He definitely typed Sentry. He did put Sentry with an S, yes. Uh, Robert <laughs> says, I would get rid of all of them uh, when She-Hulk's knees are putting me off. <laughs> yeah, the knees... I, again, I, I'm hoping it is just a, a bad packaging shot. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think it is because she's tall. Yeah, yeah, there's no the way she can fit in there, otherwise. Uh, Tad, Tad, Tad with the super Chad chat. McMyers Thank you, Chad McMyers donated $5. Retro carded MCU whiplash. MCU... Zany face, open mouth smile. MCU whiplash is something I'd want as long as he came with a little bird accessory. As long as he gets his little <laughs> bird accessory, all right? Don't give us the whiplash without the little bird. Uh, Doc Sampson is needed, says Andrew. Yeah, Doc Sampson. We haven't had we haven't had a Doc Sampson. No, but, that, but that's in the Hulk. We need a Hulk yeah. record. Don't put, don't put Doc Sampson on the right of a wave too, now. But that was about to say. That was about to say. <laughs> uh, Jay Toy Collection said, yes, my spelling was my letdown. They are all out. Devon, get the tables. Retro Dudley boys are in. He's trying to he's trying to sneak in the wrestling talk. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, Modoc's wife on a retro card. Greg says people uh, say marry Tony for his money. Remind me how many times has Tony been bankrupt in Marvel now? I know of at least twice. Yeah, it's true. Tony, it does lose his money quite easily. I think uh, didn't Peter like get rich at some point and then he lost his money again? They keep changing who the rich person is. Peter, it was Peter Parker Industries, wasn't it, for a little bit in the comics? Um. Okay. Cool. Well played, everybody. Well played. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for participating. Gonna like that super chat there. Thank you very much. Is Lady Mac giving us her answers yet? I'm not moving on until Lady Mac gives us her answers. Okay, maybe we should move on. But uh, I'll be checking, Lady Mac. I'll be checking. I'll be checking. Maybe she's avoided us. Maybe that's what she chose. Yeah, we've, right, <laughs> we've still got some time. So let's go through these pictures here. Because on the table, okay? So this is where I do need the chat involved in because I'm a little bit clueless with this. So... During the the this panel or whatever happened, they they showed off some in 
the figures were there on the convention floor. Uh, some of the YouTubers were there taking pictures, etc., etc. And then there was one extra little thing on the table with no context. There it is. This was just left amongst the Marvel Legends on display. Not by accident. Brian Ting put it there himself. But gave no context to what this is. It is not an accessory with any of these Iron Man figures, obviously. Because we now have the packet in shots. So we have a tiny little Avengers Quinjet just on the table. What is it? What is it? Answers on a postcard. P.O. Box at Dan Who's Chat. Let me know. Uh, Rich, what are your ideas here? Is it a butt plug for Giant Man, the HasLab? They put an extra packet in for you? Could be. <laughs> Could be. I did the, I did, does he come with a hole included? I didn't. <laughs> they didn't mention that on the. They would have got I more backers. I'm guessing it is somehow tied to a size changing Avenger because it's tiny. That would be my the, guess. The chat want you to say that this is what the chat want you to say. Quinjet Haslab. Quinjet has a Haslab. That's Quinjet what they want you to say. Haslab. That's what oh. they want you to say. I'm not saying that's what it is, but the oh. initial comments when I this was posted online, more comments were saying, "Oh, it's clearly a Quinjet Haslab. Quinjet Haslab. Quinjet Haslab." And I'm thinking, it's a bit small for a Haslab, isn't it? Well, who's, who's gonna fit there? I'm thinking to myself, right? This is clearly a, a uniquely tooled accessory piece. It is. They haven't made this uniquely tooled accessory piece to just tease the potential of a Quinjet Haslab. Okay, I I, could, I will eat my hat if the Haslab is a Quinjet. It is not a Quinjet Haslab. Okay, let's just let's be sensible, community. All right, we're sensible. You, how many hats have you eaten now, Dan? Look, I don't eat any hats. Three? Because I spit facts. <laughs> right. I spit the facts, I spit the truth, right? This is not going to be a Quinjet Haslab. Ryan Ting put it there because he wanted the casuals to think, oh, it must be a Quinjet Haslab. No, 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 no. We're not casuals, Rich, right? We've, we're veterans in this game. We know better, okay? It is not to do with the Haslab. It is an accessory piece to a future Marvel Legends release. So like you said very wisely, this has to be an accessory to a size-changing character Wasp, Yellow Jacket, Hank Pym. Got to be one of them, right? It could be. Or with Hasbro as Hasbro, this could be an accessory for Storm. Who knows, Dad? Who knows? <laughs> uh, Packed on a, a Spider-Man retro card. It's the, it's the Marvel Unlimited subscription exclusive <laughs> for 2025. <laughs> Budget is gone. Budget is gone, people. This is all you're getting. Does anybody, like, honestly, we've got 144 in the chat, right? 150 now. Marvel Legend collectors, I assume, or people that at least dabble in Marvel Legends at least. Does anyone out there genuinely, like, genuinely would put money on it and genuinely are confident that think this is a Haslab tease? I got money in the bank. Who thinks this is a Haslab tease? Let me know. Uh, Justin, thank you very much for the super chat. He says they can call hit the Mandarin Wen Wu and it would be fine. Uh, that's what they did for the MCU. I, I just, I just thought of something that it could be. Go on. So no, everyone wants the Haslab to be Thing Fan Foom. Yep. This could be a six-inch Thing Fan Foom, and then this is in scale with it, and they could have like two little one-inch little tiny figures, not like they did with the Power Rangers, like, like little one-inch, yeah, little Mighty Wax Iron Man and Captain America with it. And then th that that could be it. And then it could be it could be a new six inch line with, with Dragon Man, right, with the right, Sentinel, right. all these big figures, and they just scale them down Chad so they don't have to make them big. Chadwick five dollars accessory chat. for Giant Man to show scale. Okay, so he's saying accessory for Giant Man to show scale. I definitely do think it's an accessory to show scale. Pretty confident with that. Now, I have a hundred percent not went through every comic book page ever existed. Because this probably is on a comic book panel somewhere. Like, Marvel have pulled reference from something. Surely, surely Hasbro don't just make hey, things up, right? Hey, Pink Quinjet or Google would be the first picture. That's, <laughs> That's usually, <laughs> to be fair, isn't it? To be fair, we could crack this now. This is usually the in depth uh, levels they go to, isn't it? Right. Uh, tiny Quinjet. <laughs> I'm going to wrong. Marvel 
tiny <laughs> Quinjet. Uh, Quinjet. Who needs research when you've got Google Images? <laughs> <laughs> uh, tiny Quinjet comic panel. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking. Now, it's it definitely a Quinjet. Like, it looks, it's the shape of a Quinjet. But it's got to be like a Hank Pym yellow jacket type vibe here. It's got to be, got to be, got to be. Look, here we have a... Uh, look, look, okay, look. I've cracked it. I've just solved it, right? Didn't take me long. Solved it. <laughs> right, here we go. Where's my image gone? Oh, shit, I just found it, right? Here we go. All right, you heard it here first. And you're welcome, all right? Dan, who solved it? Right? Look at that. That image, yeah? We've got the A. It's in a little ship shape, right? No, it's not. It's not that. It's not. It's more modern than that. Well, it's, it's not that, similar it? though, right? It's got the A on the wing. And yeah, it's, it's like, more. It's similar. It's more though, right? modern. It's a bit okay, more modern. Okay. With the, the front screen. The but front screen is more who's, modern. Who's who's on that panel next to it? Yellow jacket. Who do we need in Marvel Legends? Yellow jacket. I'm going to just go out on a limb here. I'm not going to promise to eat my hat because, again, this is just a guess. But this is an educated, sensible guess based off my <laughs> 10 seconds of a Google search research. I'm going to say that this accessory is an accessory to a Yellow Jacket Marvel Legend. All right, there I said it. Oh. It's on record. I'm on the record now. All right, you can play this when it gets revealed later down the line. All right. There's my guess. All right, Rich. So we need a, we need a guess from you. All right. We need a guess from you. I'm going to say yellow jacket. You're going to go yellow jacket. Okay. Yeah. I'm. It's got to be. It's got to be a size changer, changing hero. I'm going to go with. It can't be wasp because we're getting a wasp figure this year, so they. It's not going to be another wasp. And I don't think this would be a pack in for wasp. I don't know if they would have shown it separately. So I think it's got to be something new. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Goliath. I'm going to go with Goliath. Okay, interesting. Okay. Hank Pym Goliath. That's what I'm going to go with. I was trying to find the actual page for that panel I've just found. Um, and I found a bigger image of it. Uh, I found some more panels from that same page. Sorry. So there you go. So the Avengers are coming out of it. So it's definitely an Avengers Quinjet and they're battling Yellow Jacket. So yeah, I think I think it's Yellow Jacket now. But Goliath is a good shout. And looking at the chat as well, um JR has said an accessory for Atlas slash Goliath from the Thunderbolts would be great to help fill out that team. Now this year, we were meant to have a Captain America movie. We were meant to have a Thunderbolts movie. We were meant to have a Blade movie originally, right? Oh, Blade was meant to be the end of last year. But my point is, we were meant to have Marvel movies that have all been moved off their release slate. But of course, as we know, making toys takes about 18 months. Things get planned ahead of time. So just like we have got a couple of Captain America releases this year slip through the cracks, like that uh, Shield free pack has Captain America uh, branding on the front. We've got the Secret Empire Captain America, the Sam Wilson Captain America. They were all meant to be comic releases to support the the Captain America movie that got moved. Now we were also meant to have uh, a, a Thunderbolts movie this year that has been moved. So that makes me think characters like Goliath and Atlas are more likely this year. Do you know because they're comic characters that could have been released around about the same time. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's not a bad shout. Thunderbolt related characters in comic form. I think could be at the top of some list this year because they could have been released at the time of the Thunderbolts movie, which would have been, I think, November-ish, right? So could be like fourth quarter releases. Uh, and they're characters we need. We need a Goliath. We need an Atlas. We've, we've had Atlas on many of our lists for sure. Um, but uh, JR agrees and says Yellow Jacket makes the most sense. Look, this is just a quick image I've pulled from Google. It's the same bloody Quinjet, but a little bit more old school. It's the Avengers team walking out of it. And they're battling Yellow Jacket. So I'm saying this comes with a Yellow Jacket. They have said uh, that the Avengers 60th anniversary theme will continue this year. It could even be this year's summer program. Like me and Rich think it could just be the same summer program two years in a row. Could be. Potentially. We don't know yet for sure. But uh, Dan Yoon 
has been saying some stuff on Twitter, like he does. And I do appreciate Dan on Twitter, giving us these little tidbits, these nuggets, these breadcrumbs, if he wants to use his bread analogies. But he says, just some dope Marvel Legends that you can spend some bread on. Please note, next week's pre-order is pretty classic. Now, next week's pre-order is yet to be revealed. We don't know what it is, all right? It's a new reveal. But he says it's pretty classic. And uh, me and Rich, or Rich, has found, done some digging and found this image online from Marvel. Celebrating Marvel 85 years. Now, where did you find this, Rich? So this is on... Uh... RSVLT's results. It's like a clothing line, and they've got a new clothing range of Marvel's 85th anniversary. But last year, they well, the year before last, sorry, they were one of the first ones who did the Beyond Amazing Spider Man. They announced the clothing line, and then it seemed to like fit in everyone. And we know Marvel love an anniversary, 85th year, five years. It's not really a special year, but why not? You can include anything in that as well. And a lot of the leaks from David Displays Model Behaviour and Rick Tangler, a lot of the ones that haven't been put into a wave yet, they kind of don't fit together. So what would be the perfect summer theme? Celebrating 85 years. Anything from the last 85 years you can put in there. This was, this is where you could put a She-Hulk. No, no one bat an eyelid. Any figure at all in this wave, you'll be like, yeah, that's a, that's a good fit for 85 years. It came out in the last 85 years. Yeah, this is a very wide open net for marvel characters but that's that can be a good thing for us collectors because it gives them free reign to fill some gaps or give us some upgrades in our collection um again i'm always after upgrades new characters uh, I, again when you've been collecting legends so long you don't really want the re-releases but again i understand re-releases you got to get new people on board to keep the line strong i get it but marvel 85 years ryan ting did just say at wondercon we do love an anniversary. He, he said that out loud because he may know they're going to reveal lots of anniversary stuff soon. So is yeah, the summer I, program 85 didn't, years? Didn't they say last year that this year there was going to be three anniversary lines? We've had the Wolverine line announced. We know that uh, Beyond Earth might, yes, it's continuing, which could be the second one. So there could be, there's a third one to be announced and this one would fit. A lot of things all at once. Well, we know we've got the Black Suit Spider-Man. We know we've got Secret Wars. But they could all be under this umbrella as well. Like They're all things that are like... I, it's interesting. But like Rich said, the, this this is just an image. But it looks like a legit image. And you know Hasbro like to, obviously, synergy with Marvel. Of course, Marvel are like feeding them. Like, we want you to promote this this year and lean on this this year. So Marvel could be like, well, we're doing a celebrating 85 years initiative. Can you work that in? And the Hasbro have went, yeah, we'll do it as the summer program. So we're going to get 10 items celebrating 85 years. So, again, me and Jay did a stream recently going through some potential ideas. Uh, but we're just throwing another one out there. Just throwing another one out there. So the summer program could be... Celebrating Marvel 85 years, which is a big wide net. I give you that for sure. But um, it could be, could be. It, 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 and it is, it is like a genuine thing because hang on, if I check the link in the yeah, chat, it's legit. Uh, this, ain't, this ain't a leak. That, this that legit. they have actually announced like the a clo the clothes from this line, and it's like it's got black suit Spider Man versus Venom on it. Um, it's got like all the different Avengers clue. faces. Maybe this will give us a clue of what figures we get then, because if if Hasbro are sending out assets. In regards to celebrating Marvel 85 years, maybe it'll give us an inkling of what characters they're pushing for this initiative. So who have we got then? So we've got a Daredevil shirt. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's a Spider-Man shirt. Sorry. Spider-Man. Sorry. I've seen the red and fought Daredevil. So it's a Spider-Man and Venom shirt. And it is an anniversary for the black suit Spider-Man, which went on to be Venom. It might even be an anniversary for Venom as well. Shorter than the uh, black suit, of course, but it still might be an anniversary. Someone will have to fact check me on that. Uh, we've got some Faces of Marvel shirt. So that's just got random character heads on, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got who we got in there? Thor. Like a wasp on there. Wasp. Got Wolverine on there. We know we're getting a wasp. We know wasp is already coming. So maybe, maybe. What else we got? Uh, some X Men. Uh, just generic Marvel. The Avengers team. Some more Avengers, X-Men. Thought that was Dwight Stool then. I thought we had cracked it. I thought we went, there he is, Dwight. We found him. This is all <laughs> it. Uh, who else we got? Do you like any of these, Rich? Um, 
not not a fifty-seven pounder. I know. <laughs> There's a Sentinel <laughs> shirt. I got that. I got that shirt. I did I not pay fifty-seven pounds for it. I was say, I've seen that. <laughs> Nightcrawler shirt. People love a Nightcrawler. A bit of hot pink there. Hot pink. Spider-Man. I think these are old, these are older ones though. I think oh, you've okay. gone past the eighty fifth now. Okay, Maybe. cool. Again, again, me and Rich, of course, we're just digging for the sake of conversation. We don't actually know shit, so who knows? We just thought it'd be fun to just mention that, let you guys uh, do your own thinking. But yeah, celebrating eighty five years could potentially be this year's summer program, or it could be the sixty years of Avengers continued. But I don't think it would be that because now it isn't actually the sixty years of Avengers. So I don't know, Miss Brandon. I don't know. I don't know. But. uh we shall see. But anyway, I think that accessory piece is uh, for a yellow jacket. All right. That's my that's my guess. That's my guess. All right. There it is. One last time. There it is. There it is. And based off my quick research, that's my evidence. The Avengers are battling yellow jacket and they were in a Quinjet. And if you keep reading that story, yellow jacket makes it tiny. I don't know, really. I made that bit up, but that would make my theory be a lot more re- reasonable for sure. Uh, right, if you want to continue this uh, nonsense uh, and tell us your thoughts on this Iron Man wave and also what you think that potential little tease could be, me and Rich are about to go over to the bonus stream. We're about to head over. We stream for another half an hour uh, for the channel members and channel members can also join us on this Zoom call. It's like a mini Legend of the Liquor. Again, the community is great that we've got here. Lots of familiar faces, but new ones are always welcome, all right? If you're a new person, don't be shy. If you're available right now, join us. Yeah, if you're in front of a in front of a camera you got you got a mic let's get involved get involved with the community we're building here and remember we are doing the inner circle tomorrow so there we go there's the inner circle tomorrow 9 p.m uk time greenwich mean time and that is 1 p.m eastern uh, no 1 p.m west coast which would be like what five or six east coast someone figure that out for me uh, either way in a circle tomorrow people fun and games duck races maybe we'll see the wheel again who knows who knows maybe i'll have some prizes maybe i won't i don't know to be honest i'll figure it all out tomorrow that's how organized i am but that's what we're going to be doing we'll be there tomorrow um but uh rich for anyone who doesn't follow us over to the extra show uh where can the people find you online so this weekend, you can find me at NEC at the Toy Fair on Sunday. I will be looking for lady figures and paying what they asked me for. That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> uh, let me just quickly get that with you guys. a good point, actually. Yeah, so uh, me and Rich will be in the flesh in person uh, with lots of great people that you see in the chat as well. On Sunday, NEC Toy Fair in Birmingham. Again, the UK's biggest toy fair. Over 500 stores selling mostly trains, let's be honest. But there is a get, they're getting better, better with a lot of modern stuff. Um, we're trying to get rid of the trains and stuff, to be fair. No one cares anymore. And let's get some more modern stuff in there. Do you think Turtles are bloody 40 years old now, for God's sake? Do you know what, do you know what I think would make a clinic? Someone selling cakes at the end. Just a cake, <laughs> a cake stand. But after you've been through all the toys, you just buy some cakes. I just want some cakes. Yeah, uh, Cake and Koppelberg. Cake and Koppelberg. There we go. I'll I'll be game for that. I'd I'd, I'd walk around for Koppelberg. Not a problem. But uh, yeah, NEC Toy Fair this uh, Sunday. I'll be there. Rich will be there. Joe will be there. Uh, I'm sure Paul and Lady Mac will be there. I know Adam Batman Moran's there. Uh, Craig's dot nostalgic dot collection. Tanner is driving all the way up from London, so Tanner's going to be joining us as well. Um, so it'll be good times. Uh, so if you are coming, um, make sure you let us know. If I if I don't, if me and Rich don't know you're coming, and you're genuinely going to be there, please just hit us up. Let us know. Yeah. Let us know. Let's uh, let's oh, say hello. look for a bar. I'll probably be in there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Rich is up for the weekend, so he'll, he'll be around in the Birmingham area. Uh, just keep a lookout. Keep a lookout for him. Uh, but yeah, we'll be there uh, on Sunday. So that's what we're going to be doing on Sunday. If you're in the UK, NEC Toy Fair. Again, there's a lot a lot of weird toy fairs happen throughout the country. This is the one that's worth the effort. This is literally all toys. It's the biggest toy fair in the country. If you are thinking about coming to a toy fair in the UK... This is the one you make the effort to go to. Really is. All the best sellers and retailers come from all over the place. But this this is this Sunday coming. So obviously, if you haven't made plans yet, don't worry. Because if you scroll down, there's like two more this year. So you've got more time to get prepared for. Yep. There's one in September and one just after Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be at all of them. I'm going to them all. Because uh, there's only a couple of years. It's only down the road for me. I'm very lucky, but uh, but it is it's worth going for sure. Uh, and if, if you're wondering when the next train strikes are going to be, note all those dates in your diary because it's <laughs> bound to be one of those. Every time I book a train ticket, 
they do they do a train strike i'm looking for more of the spider-man toy biz cards all right that's what i'm searching for so if you're a salah then bring some but i'll well, be put haggling. Prices. put up your no, prices i'll be haggling <laughs> right, i never pay the ticket up price all right i'll be haggling uh but that's where we'll be on sunday uh and uh one last time where am i going this one if you want to watch the next half an hour Become a Who Crew Deluxe channel member and you get an extra bonus show every single Thursday, okay? And you can be on the show every single Thursday. We're going to go right there right now. Uh, Richard said his goodbyes. I will say my goodbyes. Uh, thank you very much as always. Episode 185. Absolutely crazy. We're approaching our five-year anniversary of live streaming on YouTube, which is insane. We, we're not. We're four years. Okay, I don't know where you, you've added okay, an extra four. year you have. Still, four years is still long, all right? Four yeah, years it's, still, still it's long. good. You're like Marvel. You want any anniversary, 85th yeah. year, whatever. Just stick a, I, I, look, stick a label on it. Absolutely. Absolutely, I will. <laughs> any reason to celebrate. I will never let people give, tell me not to celebrate positive achievements, all right? So that's what we'll be doing. We'll see you on the, ne see you on the next one. Where's my end screen? Right, it's the here. Right, hopefully the music's playing. Um, click that one. Which one, Rich? Left or right? Left. Go left. Go left this year. Go on. Go left. Left. There you go. Click one of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, if you want to see the extra shows every week, become a channel member and you can watch them. Uh, like, by being a channel member, you've got weeks of content to catch up on. What are you